welcome back ladies and gentlemen this is bad 300 and this is our next episode of attack of the b team today we're not really going to be doing that much playing we're going to be taking a look at a couple of the items or mods that are in the mod pack the first one is called carpenter's blocks i do believe yeah carpenter's blocks which, as you can see, there is a array of blocks, and all the blocks by the Carpenter's mod can be modified, just like that. And they are still, if I wasn't in, uh, creative. But when you destroy it, you get your original block back plus. Now this right here is a door. And bed, you get a lot of options. I did this to show you that, unfortunately, that would be great if in the future, if he could make it to where when two beds are placed together, because they obviously form one whole unit across there, that if the sheets, like this one, is the main one with that issue, if this rainbow would continue over that would be great but how do you modify your blocks well there's a couple different ways. you can take a say diamond now it looks like it's diamond blocks even though it's not these uh, glass same thing that's how I got the look of the door whoops uh, you can hit the blocks with the hammer to change them now it looks like uh, and there's some blocks that can be modified with the chisel like say this door for instance and it can also be modified with the hammer now tell me that's not a uh, unique item Uh, and here's something else you can make really cool rough structures here's some of the other items so they're easier to see now let me switch out of cre don't turn that on creative mode so and see the hammer can change it make the block change its shape which there is quite a few. Let's give me an axe out here. And they take a while to break by axe, but they do break. Okay. Actually, let me go back into creative real quick. And as usual, I am very ill prepared. Grab a pick. Jim Ho. Fossils and Archaeology Report. Huh? Well, we might need to get into that later. As you see, they destroy rather quickly that way. With the pick. And right here you can see this is a pressure plate. Okay. And that is a grass line pressure plate good for booby traps because it makes it really hard to see unless you're paying attention to your hip block of course you got the fence post and everything with this mod is adjustable I mean look at that you got several different types of fences Several different patterns. Now, look at that. Yeah, see all kinds of stuff you can do. Patterns on the glass. And then, which brings me to the next mod I'm going to talk about today. 
which mostly I'm going to let you discover these on your own. Now, I will do this. To make these, it's the real easy. Just a couple carpenter's blocks and some iron for the hammer. And of course, it's just sticks and a block of wood in the middle. And for the chisel, it's just... Okay, now there is a second chisel in this pack if I can find it. There we go. The chisel block mod. As you can see, there is a... This doesn't actually add anything to the game other than a lot of new block textures. Well, excuse me. I do believe it does add three new blocks. Cloud. Uh, let's see. A temple block. Yeah, it adds a couple. Okay, let's get up here to the tools. Hopefully. Oh, that's a cool lot block. That was with lapis. Okay, come on, chisel mod. Where's your chisel? That's okay. We'll do this. Okay, that's the carpenter's chisel. Well, now we're just going to have to make this thing, aren't we? to game e let's go to here there we go let's try it this way now there is two different ways to make this depending on how it's set up in your configs there we go there is this way or you take the just one and one now what you do with this mod is you hold this in your hand right click and then okay we got a stack of diamond blocks these are all the blocks that you can make out and let's say you got a bunch left over and you want to do something else with them put them back in you can get your original block back which is kind of nice it makes it a little OP but it's definitely nice if you're doing something like diamond. Oh, uh, well, we can't do, let's see, sandstone. Yeah, see, we can do, uh, it gives us a lot more choices. So these two just add a whole lot of aesthetic to the game. Now, tell me that ain't sweet right there. And... Let's see here. Let's look at the. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Lapis lazuli. There we go. Oh, let's take a look at that block. Now that is really close to the. This is the blue netherrack. There's two different blue nether racks that you can get with the chisel mod. Yeah, they're all just slightly different texture, but this just adds so much more design to the game. And then you go into the micro blocks. <clears throat> and of course, stairs. One thing I like is that uh, they do have a lot of uh, even cobble let's uh oh c o b b cobble chisel and i forget how to get that oh i forget how to get that stupid yellow crap off but as you can see now I did quite like this stone which you will see coming up um, and in case you missed it I have been streaming some of this pack on Twitch for when I have 
uh, I'm trying to do my in-between episodes on Twitch. So that way you can still follow what I'm doing. Which I'm not really in a spot to film. Which is why I came here to do this. So I would have some content since it's been a while since I've done this pack. And I've been concentrating a little bit more on... my Vex maps but in case you wanted to know I have been streaming on Twitch so you can catch up there and you can also catch uh, other stuff I've been doing now see look at that it even takes these so if you want to have uh, a angled creeper roof there you go. Now you can have it, and that actually looks like shingles. Creeper face pressure plate for the death button. <laughs> okay, I think we're going to call that an episode. Uh, for those of you that don't know already, I am having a Help Me Get Subscribers contest. And what it is, you got to go to my other channel, links below, go watch the whole banished video, like or dislike it, either or, comment as to why, and subscribe to my other channel. And at the, at the end of 30 days, I hit the amount of likes and views. Uh, someone will win a free copy of Banished or something of close or equal value if they already own a copy of Banished. And I think when I review new games, that is the way I'm going to start um, doing it. Because I need my channel to grow. And why not uh, give my viewers something in return? Other than just some good old laugh at me entertainment. Alright folks, catch you on the flip side.